Hello friends, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we are illustrating this mystic jar in the middle of a forest where the magic is coming out or we can assume it, it's a fireflies and somebody has opened the jar. Okay, so we are going to start straight out with step one that is painting the sky. You know the drill, we are going to use coarse watercolor brush to add the color. So we are going to start with a darker shade of indigo blue to adding the indigo and little bit lighter shade of indigo. So we are going with the indigo family and we are not adding more than three colors for the sky so for blending we are going absolutely with our favorite that is blending brush from the artist column so just make sure you follow the same size because it's much easier all you have to do is three swap up from top to bottom and all the color blends it properly without any any mess so once we are done this we are just going to let it be and add a new layer for our step two that is adding mountain. So to add mountain, we are going to use fountain pen and use your cursive handwriting here or little bit stroke of up and down, not going to be the perfect mountain. So once we are done with it, we are just going to fill with a uh, help of fill bucket option. So add top another layer to add little bit lighter shade of the mountain. Again, go with a free flow, just go with little breaks here and there. And once you are done with this, again, use the fill bucket option to fill the layer. So we are going to repeat this for the three times so just make sure you add new layer don't do it in the same layer because it's not going to keep the result so we are going to follow up for the third layer and here I'm going to use the darker shade of the indigo color so just looking at the illustration itself the dark shade comes last the middle shade comes in the middle and the little blue or the lighter shade of the blue comes on the top so we're just going to use three color for the sky and the mountain once we are done with it just use the lighter shade of the mountain and use Use flow airbrush to just give at the edge of the mountain like at the end of the mountain there is a light glow coming out like you can see in the middle and also for the last layer we are going to add two color shade that is the yellow and the orange tint because uh, as we go by you will understand why I have uh, made sure to add this glow in the picture because we are going to add the mystic jar in the middle and we are just going to make sure the light pops out of the jar itself okay So now we are going to add a new layer. This is the third step that is we are going to add the grass and tree. So what we are going to do, we are going to use camo brush to add the background of the grass. So once we are done with this and we are going to add, use the help of feathery brush to add the plant out of the grass. So just add more layer as you go by and you make sure to add plants around so that it's look like the jar is placed in the middle of the grass, not above. So in the middle of it. So once we are done, we are going straight with tattooing to draw the tree. Of course, the darker shade, uh, the darker indicate indigo shade on the sky may not pop up the tree, but it's okay. But we want that element in. So once we are done, we are using signature ink to dab around like a leaf of the tree uh, of course i want to brighten it up but i'm totally fine hope you guys can follow this let me know in the comment below what are you enjoying so far is it the sky the mountain or the tree because all these three elements is very simple we are just going to use the help of the tool and just build it around so once we are done we are going to go the another step so now for the first step we are going to do the jar with the help of circular draw style option we are going to draw a vowel shape and then along with the line we are going to illustrate the jar so just follow the tutorial you don't have to be perfect it will take few time but because when i was illustrating i was doing on and off on and off so just make sure to use your free hand and illustrate as you go by so once we are done we are going to use the fill bucket option to fill and also we are going to use the cashmere eraser to raise in the middle and also i feel like it is too much yellowish so i'm adding a little shade of orange so once we are done again i'm using a cashmere eraser 
to erase uh, the shade of orange so the hint itself is a, is a glass jar and we are just going to bring the edge as a, a shiny uh, shiny color of the glooming um, fireflies or the magic coming out of it uh, it's up to you so let me know in the comment is it a firefly or is it a magic which is just popped out of the jar so once we are done we are I'm just going to place the layer beneath the leaf layer okay so that this jar goes inside so so that it looks like the jar is placed in between the grass has fallen from somewhere from the sky and it has landed in the grass so we are just going to adjust it so we are going to select the layer drag it down and here we are with the help of the adjust column i'm just going to little bit tilt so that it looks like that's fallen from somewhere and once we are play this is you can actually reduce the size of the jar if not it's up to you and again i feel like there is a lot of space around which is empty i'm using the camo brush to blur it around and feel like it is fallen uh, around the glass somewhere so the last and the final step is just adding the fireflies or the magic we are using glow neon from the glow set and just make sure to adjust the size of the brush according to the pressure of your stylist so i'm just going to use the orange shade and make sure you use that i'm adding one dot at a time and once we are done i'm just increasing the size of it so that i get the exact glow what i am going in for so if it looks like the jar has fallen from the sky or from tree and the magic is just spreading out or the fireflies is just simply coming out once we are done i think it will take another few minutes to close it all together and the same thing we are going to follow for the sky layer where we are going to add the star because i forgot to record the stars so follow the same step add copy paste and once you are done the image completely look awesome Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. See you in the next one. Till that, have a great life. Enjoy every second. You deserve it. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also comment down below which bit of the illustration you like and what you're looking forward for the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.